Since 1775, the Quartermaster Corps has been taking care of the soldier on a daily basis. Army food really comes in as one of the major uh, areas that the Quartermaster Corps has been supplying uh, since the Revolution. Luther Hansen, the curator of the U.S. Army Quartermaster Museum, says over the past couple of centuries, nutrition has played an important and evolving role for soldiers on the front lines. The usage of, of different types of soups and, and uh, uh, things like carnation instant uh, milk comes in in the 1850s, instant coffee that we all think of as something as really modern comes in in the 1850s. By 1898, the Army uh, beef and meat ration, the canned beef and meat rations come in. In 1942, the K ration is developed. That's the breakfast, dinner, and supper. Then in 1963, the meal ready to eat, or MRE, is developed. Today, the MRE comes in 36 varieties, and some have up to 5,000 calories per pouch. Army chefs are constantly experimenting with new flavors, spices, and sauces to make them as delicious as possible. You can't always please everyone. It's hard to please everyone, but, but we're trying, the Army is trying to please as many people as they can and make it as uh, nutritious and palatable. It, it um, helps boost morale, and it helps the soldier um, fight on. Today, the Army employs a simple color-coded program called Go for Green that helps soldiers eat healthier in training. Green means you want to eat a lot of it. Yellow, you want to eat in moderation. And red, you want to eat not so often. Army leaders know they're not just feeding soldiers, they're fueling some of the world's best warriors. We expect them to perform like an athlete. We, we're starting to feed them exactly like an athlete. I'm Liz Mickler reporting for the U.S. Army.